Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. He's a storyteller. Yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. <laughs> he gave me some tips. When I look at you and Daniel, how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah, they have their problems, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. 
Did you know Trissa's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. I just don't get why they locked the room. Uh, what's the big deal? We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <sighs> Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust trinkets. Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. So young. Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Still super cute, though. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Shit, these are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Sean, hurry up. He might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel, I know. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. I didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Sean! I saw Grandma... Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these... milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here.
This whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Uh, okay, Daniel. Uh, think hard. What was she wearing? Uh, jeez. I think it was that... Yep. It's empty. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes. I know I can. We have to get into that room before they come back. Fuck. Can't find that stupid key. Just go for it. Yes. And don't blow apart the whole house. <laughs> really? Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. They want to forget anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. It's like she almost never used those. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Ulysses. These pictures are so... random. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? <sighs> yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Is that an amethyst? <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Hmm, so that's how mom used to smell? I don't know. I don't think she used any perfume. From what I remember. Oh. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. I miss not having any memories of her, Sean. <sighs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing too. Never seen any picture of mom in our home. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. I don't recognize any of these games. Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. Yawn. This playlist is boring as hell. Did she tell you why she left? I miss my music. She told Dad and... Dad told me. He told you too. Right? All he ever said to me was she wasn't so sure. What she wanted with her life. Well, I guess she finally figured it out. Because she never looked back. And we have to do the same thing, too. Bit. I know. I think it's not plugged.
So, you were a friend of my mommy's? <sighs> the fuck is wrong with this? I hope she took good care. Oh, hiding spot. <laughs> Smart. <sighs> so, Karen was already serious about running away. Why did you wait that long? Did she take you with her when she went on trips? I wonder my mom loved it so much. <sighs> I miss my skateboard. And going to the park with Lila. You're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. I think I saw a moon eclipse once before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was, walking my way down to Mexico. Huh. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. This playlist is boring as it. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop out. In this case, I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right 
to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed, she just feels guilty. I can't fear that. Listen, Sean, I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that breaking our door to sneak into the room, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! We got this! Claire, you'll have to pull him out. Hold on, Steven. This might hurt. This is worse. Do it. One, two, three. Hold on. My leg. Almost there. Come on. Oh, my baby. Thank you. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Oh, Stephen. Please don't say that. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone made a call to your grandson's friend from this house. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Thanks, Grandma. We're gonna miss you. I'll stop that. We'll see you as soon as we can. Okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go up here.
ass, bro. Shit. This way. Man, Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. You saved his life. He, he thinks I'm a liar now. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. You guys are the spirit squad, right? I hope so. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, eh, Nano? For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Gee. A yo-yo? Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey. I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard.
Thank you. 
So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. <laughs> I'll show you around. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away forever. So now the brothers were alone and they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south, to the distant homeland of their Papa Wolf.
No uh, way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Scored it at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. Man, that would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Looking... Ugh, kind of lame. Swipe left. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Ted thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 